Read in the parsha how Moshe, the last 36 days of his life, he's rebuking Klal Yisrael of what took, transpired over the past 40 years. And he gets back to the point of time where Yisrael was far more suggested. They set up a judicial system. What exactly are the qualifications of the Dayonim who are qualified to sit on this court? So he had said, Hovluchem Anoshim Chachomim. It's not enough to be proficient in law and to have knowledge, but you have to be chachomim, you have to be wise. Unavonim, you have to be insightful. So Rashi, he says, what chachomim? Chachomim means knowledgeable or wise. Rashi cites the Sifri, chachomim ksufim. Tzadikim ksufim. So we hear the Sifs Chom say, what does it mean in the word ksufim? You have shame, you have conscience. They're embarrassed over their failings, their transgressions. And even when, when they want to do an action, whatever it may be, they evaluate, they see, will it have any negative consequences or ramifications? It shouldn't cause any embarrassment. So chachomim is ksufim. You're embarrassed. There's embarrassment, there's conscience. We find that one of the three characteristics which every Jew innately has within his genealogy are baishonim. Aroma vino, bachmonim, baishonim, gomli chasodim. These are the three innate characteristics in every Jew. Baishonim means shame, conscience. And we see over here that shame is synonymous with chokhmah. A person could be Bilam, was from the chachmi was olam, from the wisest Gentiles, but look what the man was. Pompous, involved in bestiality, cruel, level of cruelty not to be understood because the man had no conscience. What is the safety valve on one's genius to keep it on that straight and narrow path to be invested and utilized for everything which is proper and good is conscience. Because conscience keeps the person under control. Avromovinu, that that he came, Laki Boro, to recognize his maker had to do with conscience. Because Chazal tell us, how could he benefit? How could he be a beneficiary of whoever brought this existence into existence without recognizing and acknowledging who that being may be? And he would not, under any circumstance, offer his homage to anybody but whoever that benefactor may be. So that also tied directly into, into, being, into his consciousness. It's busha, to say thank you, the person is not your benefactor, to show your appreciation, debt of gratitude, it's not possible. So what's chokhmah? Chokhmah is what, and that's why, resh is chokhmah, yiris Hashem. If you have yiris Hashem, Chaim Voloshan writes, Nef Shachayim, why it's called yiris shomayim, fear of heaven. Because if a person is cognizant, that there's a being in heaven, as we say in Pirkei Ovos, there's an eye in Roa, Osen Shamas, there's a seeing eye, and there's a listening ear, and everything's recorded, nothing goes unseen, then there's a consciousness, because we understand that there's what, that the consequences, there's, there's a shame, as the Ramo says at the beginning of Orachayim, that if a person, a person's behavior in the presence of a king is different than the presence of uh, uh, no one or a commoner, there's a shame, we behave differently. It's shameful to behave a certain way if we're cognizant, we stand in the presence of Hashem. There's no concept of Shvisi Hashem and Lendi Somit. That's the idea. So what is Chachomim? It doesn't mean people with exceptional IQs. Although the members of the Sanhedrin 
they were spoke or they understood 70 languages that of course that was very important that was crucial in terms of their qualifications to be a dayan but what was base basic and key to that that be chacham shesksufim and because Jews are the descendants of, of Romavinu and we have by Shonus, we have conscience therefore we're able to stay the course over thousands of years despite everything else.